The internet is a bizarre and weird place. I've been on the internet long enough to remember figures and memes such as Nyan Cat and Fred being popular. But throughout my years on the internet, I've seen countless figures come and go, some with futures so bright that they managed to make a name for themselves. But what would happen if a figure didn't get the future that they wanted or the future they envisioned on the internet? What if the notoriety they got wasn't of fame, but of infamy? Today's subject is a man named Chance Wilkins, aka Cyrax. Cyrax is a rapper. Movie maker, gamer, shit, crap. All right, guys, we're not going to hear my internet's cutting out. Hold on. Tell Devin to start over because my internet's cutting. And a VFX artist. And above all else, he's a singer. A singer of the death metal screamo variety. Allow me to bless your ear holes with one of the most exquisite performance any mere mortal on this planet, nay, mere god, has blessed us with. To shed a light on who Cyrax is, let me explain the lore behind him. Chance Wilkins started his internet presence around 2010. It's kinda unknown whether he had a presence before 2010, because the earliest videos we could find of his was from around 2012, so I'm, I'm just gonna ballpark it around that metric. Before Chance became Cyrax, he was known by the name DJ Shadowblade alluding to him wanting to pursue his career in online rapping. Even to the point where apparently he owned a label company by the name of Killer Clown Records. So let me revise what we've known about Chance so far, or what we've learned about Chance so far. He's a wannabe rapper who's pretty much started his rapping career at the early 2010s. So far so good, right? Well, this is where the story would take a wrong turn, into a dark hallway. Chance is an individual that I would consider the same as someone like Christian. Two people who essentially you feel sorry for in the beginning, but upon further research, all that sorrow you had will quickly disappear, like salt in water. Now, I know we can make fun of his looks, but I don't want to hit the low-hanging fruit just yet, so this video will mostly talk about his wrongdoings as a person. Chance is a compulsive liar, an abuser, and a narcissist. Chance regularly tries to manipulate people into being kind towards him by making them feel sorry for him. Kind of like how Christian does. He does this through various methods such as fake tears, threatening suicide, and even making up sob stories about his internet trolls. An example of this is going back to the whole signing with different records things I was mentioning a while ago. A man by the name of Eric Scrubbolo signed a label with Chance because he felt sorry for him and wanted to help him in his epic quest to become a DJ and a rapper. Gee, I can't see that going wrong. Let me let me ask you this: uh, out of all of your label mates, what experience do you remember the most? Like, which one do you remember dealing with more than the others? Okay, what is this for? Uh, purely intrigue in the one they call Shadow Blade. Oh. <laughs> um, listen, man, with the one they call Shadow Blade. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't want to know my opinion on him. Oh, believe you me, uh, I hold him in very, very low standing, the lowest of standings. Yeah, well, um, I can't find him. Okay, I can't find what profile he's in. Oh my I... god, well, well, Mr. Scrubblaw, I've got great news for you. 
Uh, I have had very extensive dealings with him. Uh, he's threatened to murder me endless times. Like I have had a real back and forth with this little guy. Uh, I'd be more than happy to relay it to you. Okay. Um, well, number one, he is an ex-label mate. Yeah. He, uh, I don't know, man. He stole like 10 of my songs. Jesus Christ. He, he, he just steals everything, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, last time I talked to him, we recorded and then that name, number got, or that name got, you know. Yeah. Sure. So, I mean, yeah, I'm, whatever you want to know, I'm down. Oh, fuck yeah. Um, yeah, like, how, how long ago did you start working with him, and how long did you, have you known him? I've known him for close to maybe 10 years. Holy shit. Um, I've only known him for about a year and a half, and, uh. And to be honest with you, in the beginning, I felt bad for the guy. And, you know, I had a little clout and he was trying to be a DJ. And I'm like, okay, man, well, I mean, I kind of feel bad for you. Of course, you've got some problems and let's see what we can do. Yeah, I mean, I find it rather remarkable that somebody with his conditions can evoke such hatred, you know? The relationship went about as smoothly as a sandpaper dildo with no loot. But because Chance, being the smart boy that he is, repeatedly stole not only 10 of Eric's song, but also the name Cyrax, and another name that was also stolen from Eric. The lore deepens! Because of the rocky relationship, Chance was ultimately terminated from his contract and was essentially fired. He took it pretty well. All things considered. Yo, Cyrax, I got an announcement to make. What's up, dude? Um, well, the video's not doing as well as we thought it was going to. Yeah. And uh, speaking with the the team here at Bender Boys Records, um, they deemed you unmanageable. How? And then uh. We had to sell your we had to sell your contract, man. Wait, what the fuck? Are you serious right now? Yeah. Who's... Are you no, dude? We sold You're it this morning. What about this shit? Are you fucking serious right now? Yeah, the video didn't perform as well as we thought it was going what to. The fuck, dude? Are you fucking serious? I put in all that hard work for nothing. Are you serious right now? Well, we we, we sold serious? we sold the contract. Bro, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> you're stupid, man. <laughs> what the fuck, man? I put in all that hard work for you and the crew for what? What the fuck, man? Well, we sold we sold your contract, you. so you're you know still what? signed. You know what? Fuck you and fuck the Bender Boys. I'm doing this shit on my own. Fuck you. Do you want to know who we sold it to? I already know. Music, bitch, Marty's a fucking cunt bag. So, Chance is a thief. So what, Noble? Big whoop. Give us some more tasty deets on this man. Well, in that case, let's talk a little bit about Chance's family then. This specimen you see before you is Chance's father, aka Rupal Mark Smith, or as he is known now as Angus Ravenwood. Fucking, what a fucking name. Hey, Angus Ravenwood, what emo name generator site did you steal that from, huh? Now, Rupal seems like your upstanding citizen, huh? So why would anyone who has nothing to hide change their name? Well, Rupal... <laughs> was arrested and imprisoned in jail for the rape of a 14-year-old girl when he was 25. Jesus fucking Christ. The story behind how his dad lure his victim and then ultimately no-no touch them is fucking disturbing. From what I can gather, it seemed like he took the 14-year-old girl 50 feet off of the bike path that she was on and covered her head with a t-shirt so she couldn't see that he was doing the dirty with her. The conviction statement for what the police found at the site was just 
That's so fucking dark. The only way that the police could have figured out that it was Chance's dad was because of the victim pointing out that he was the one who did it and also because the police found matching tire tracks at his house belonging to his bike. His master plan to get away, believe it or not, was to call them and tell them the police sketch that he saw on the TV resembled him a bit too much. I don't know what kind of fucking genius or idiot this man is, but he's playing 4D chess on a different plane. It's disturbing to think that, but come on, let's be honest. It's a dumb plan, but stupid enough to work. Thankfully, it didn't, and Rupal got 20 years in prison. Ever since then, he changed his name to Angus and is now living in Anchorage, Alaska. But that's not the worst of what his dad does. A few of Chance's trolls, Marty and Schmeckelcat, found out that he was posting images of underage boys and drags on Pinterest. That's kind of sus for an almost 50-year-old man named Angus, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. The worst part about this is that when he was approached with this, RuPaul tried to mask this and said it was for trans kids awareness. Because his co-worker, Austin, who is a transgender male, was getting harassed at work and was alleged allegedly fired. So RuPaul, being the knight in shining armor, thought that uploading pictures of kids in dresses would help with transgender awareness? What the fuck? I have no idea what this has to do with your co-worker. Why would you post pictures of little kids in dress on fucking Pinterest for that? Angus. Yeah, about time you answered on this thing. If you weren't backstage here, uh, I would not pass up an opportunity to speak with you. I've been on here. I've, I've tried uh, saying something to you three different times and nothing came through. Uh, well, I can't explain that. Um, yeah, so I guess like my first question is because I, I looked at your Pinterest uh, and I was kind of horrified at some of the pictures and the comments. Those comments were not those comments were not made by me, Marty. Those comments were on the Pinterest uh, pictures when I de when I loaded them. Okay, what was like your campaign for raising trans youth awareness? You, um, what was your campaign for trans youth awareness? Because one of my co-workers, Austin, who is a trans male, was getting harassed at work and he wanted to help doing uh, transgender awareness. Okay. Um, it just seems like odd because it was strictly pictures of kids, like boys in dresses and saying uh, that they're easy. As, to use. Like, as, my ex, as my ex-wife Scarlett was telling you, Yes. As my ex-wife was telling you before, those weren't the only images we used. Those were just some of the best pictures for what we were doing. You do know that you can probably do something that makes you look less like a pedo for transgender awareness, right? Then again, hearing RuPaul talk is about as boring as watching paint dry. Marty and Schmeckelcat would then notify his workplace, telling them that he was posting inappropriate content online. This would lead to Rupal getting fired. I mean, thank God it led to him getting fired and not getting a promotion because knowing nowadays people are fucking weird. There is a 45 minute Discord call online where you can hear the conversation between Rupal and other people. So if you want to go check that out, by all means, go ahead. It's 50 minutes. If you got 50 minutes to, to spare, Go ahead. But Chance's family problems don't stop there. Apparently, Chance lives with his grandma and also sometimes abuses her, prompting to Chance being arrested around 2012 for strangling her. His reason for doing this and reason he gave the police was, and I quote, was because he blacked out and didn't remember doing it. He had a fucking Moon Knight moment and just woke up with his unconscious grandma in his arms. So yeah, Chance's family is not the most sunshine and rainbows family you'd hoped it to be. Now that we're circling back to Chance, let's talk about him and his personality towards women. See, Chance is a bit of what we kids would like to call an incel. But strangely enough, not the type of incel that doesn't get a girlfriend, quite the opposite actually. But the way he cares for them is another thing. I guess to make it a bit easier, he's a misogynist. Let's, let's just say that. How the hell does a guy like this 
manage to get more girlfriends then I can do push-ups. See, Cyrex gets into relationships more than Joe Biden stuttering through one sentence. He doesn't care for them, and ultimately the relationships end because Chance and his inability to actually love a human being like a human being, instead of thinking of them as like a fucking sex toy. Chance has had so many girlfriends, so let's break down each of them and how they all got together with Chance. How they all got together with him, how they broke up with him, and how they got harassed by him. First up is a girl that he used to stalk who goes by the name of Candle Smith. I say stalk because she rejected him after Chance developed feelings for her. And Chance, being the uh, man that he is, took it pretty well, all things considered, and only Doxter called her landlord to threaten her and having him and his then girlfriend Heather, another character in the story, who'd end up leaving Chance because he was a dick and sent dick pics to another woman while they were in a relationship, sending Candle Smith some really nice voicemails. Absolutely top tier gentleman voicemails. You're real fucking cute with that why can't you just let it go and leave me alone? I don't understand. You need to stop stopping my fucking page. And honestly, you need to leave me the hell alone. I did nothing to shame you. I don't understand why you're doing this, but it needs to stop. I did not do anything to you. And by the way, I'm not in the wrong here, little girl. The one that's in the wrong here is you. Because you don't know how to stop being so fucking obsessed over me. And you don't know when to back off and when to get it out the well. You think you got shit on me? Bro, well, I got way more of you than you could ever have on me. And by the way, you don't work for the actor big time. Because guess what? I have friends that have been security guards at my high school that I know that have worked for the actor in TV. And guess what? I asked them. And newsflash, you don't work for them. So you need to stop fucking lying to people. I don't know what your issue is, but you need to grow the fuck up and get over it. Because I did not do a damn thing to you. If anyone did anything to anyone, you've been doing this shit to me the whole time and it needs to stop. You need to grow the fuck up you need to leave Love me the, the hell card. alone. Stop stalking my page. Stop making videos of me. You need to stop in general. Yeah, so do you. Because otherwise, I can and will call the police for stalking, harassment. And that doesn't include the shit that you stole from me. Yeah, stealing my ass. Which is one of my iconic characters from my music. So I can easily have you on uh, copyright and trademark infringement. Mm-hmm. Right. So I suggest... Come on, buddy. I don't even think you know how to fucking spell the word copyright, let alone file for it. Second up on the chopping block is Heather. This was one of Chance's IRL girlfriends who came up to live with him after she abandoned her wife, her children, and her job. Yes, you heard me right. Chance dated a bisexual human. Talk about us getting our representation, am I right? Anyways, Heather was already in another relationship before she was with Chance. A lesbian relationship at that. Chance apparently has the power to convert lesbian women into straights, apparently. Apparently, that's his fucking superpower. Heather has had CPS called on her multiple times due to her son getting rashes and for also leaving her daughter with literal strangers. Fucking mom of the year, guys. The call between Heather and her wife is just one of the saddest shit ever, man. It just makes me lose faith in humanity. You're a shitty mom. I hope you get help because you're on here playing on the internet all day. Like, you're on here all day. And you're not Cyrax's girlfriend. You're Cyrax's, like, you're Cyrax's, like, big sister, his mom, his bestie. It's so creepy. I've, Jamie, I've never seen trash like this before. But I don't understand why you would choose Cyrax in another state over your car, job, wife, and daughter. Well, because I don't think Heather's ready to grow up. I don't think she's ready. I mean, think about it. She left her baby when she was watching it with strangers, which got CPS in their life. 
She doesn't want her, that's her up. son. That's her son she doesn't have custody of. Yeah. She's she doesn't visiting. want to grow up. She doesn't like she doesn't want to get a good job. She doesn't but the want to family was taking herself. care of her and they were happy with the job she had. So why make up this big lie to everyone that she was being thrown out when she never was? Oh, she's calling me. And she's telling everyone that she's building a room for her and taking her there by Christmas. No, she's not. Okay, so there was never any plans on her coming to get the baby back. Nope. She left here for my fucking dead body. She left here that night, did not even say nothing to Leah. Not hey, bye, nothing. Did she is that, know? is that your mom in the background? Can I talk to your mom, please? Can I talk to her? Sure. sure. This is the grandma. But um, she told us you guys were making her sleep on a kitchen floor with the baby. No. And um. That is an outright lie. Okay. I mean, why would I do that to my grandbaby? I, okay. I, would... I believe you 100. I'm just trying to clear this up because. Yeah. She, and then she said that you guys gave her two weeks to get out, but your daughter also had to move out and the baby. That's why she had to go live with Chance. That no, she. No. It's sad to me because who in their right mind would leave a relationship to live with a living humunculus like Chance? It's also so sad because Chance was very abusive towards Heather. In these very videos, you can hear Chance hitting Heather. And even taking her phone away from her. So, how are you blocked? I can't comment on your channel at all. I tried to comment and it disappeared. So, somebody blocked me on your channel. Um, probably because you guys were over there running your fucking mouth. Actually, all I said was that uh, they were talking about on what's that dude's name? Suplex City Vlog, talking about how you were a spy for us. So, uh, Dad, you want to over there? What? No. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Hey, Rachel, how you doing, bitch? Shocking. Are you happy being there? Are you, like, genuinely yeah, happy? I am. I miss your wife and your baby, because... That's, That's what it's going to see down bar, but I am happy here. Other than all this other, all this other BS going on, the cop being called out here for no reason. That's Heather, that's what pissed me off. The whole reason why you can't have your daughter with you right now is because there's just not room. No, Cyrus. there is room. There is room. There's room for both of my kids here. Okay. It's just we got to get everything set up and baby proofed and all that. That's what that is. I know you have anxiety, and I can tell when you look like you're about to cry, Heather, and it makes me want to cry because I don't okay, want to cry. I'm a crier. Up and everything. Like, I've been in abusive relationships, and I'm not saying you're being hit. I'm not saying that, but he, like, doesn't leave you alone for five seconds. I, you have anxiety. I can see where that would get you irritated and stressed. And this whole internet thing, me and Kiki talked about it. It stresses her out, too, sometimes. I've cried on live streams plenty of times. And you don't, you're not part of the juggalo community to where you ha should be subjected to this stuff. Yeah, I never claimed to be a part of that, of course. No. She just was saying, you know, like, if you, she didn't know if you were maybe used to some of the... No, she's not. ...or stuff like that, it's probably hard to get mm -hmm. used to. No, she's not. See, I can't... No, it's not, it's something else. I don't want him... To like follow you around and think like we're doing this to be mean to him. Not go inside. No, you know what? You done fucked up, bitch. Get inside. No, you done fucked up. Telling her all this shit. You done fucked up, you fucking cunt bag. Oh god. Heather, is, is he calling you a cunt bag, Heather? I'm calling both y'all bitches cunt bags. I know oh my god. See Heather? I know one you have your baby I'm there. But this isn't where the abusiveness stops. There are multiple videos where you can see Chance getting more and more fed up with her, and even to the point where he punches a door. Hit, Hit me! Hit me and I'm fucking knock your life out. Thankfully, there was someone there who wanted the best for Heather, and even wanted her to leave Chance due to the nature of the relationship getting more outrageous by the minute. This person's name was Jamie Springer. Unfortunately, Jamie passed away in 2020 due to unknown causes, 
but she was essentially the person who wanted Heather to leave Chance. Unfortunately, Chance didn't like this and had Heather alongside him swat Jamie live on stream. Problem resolved. Uh, should I post Someone's calling in from an unavailable number. Okay, <laughs> should I post like the suicide hotline? I mean, it, let me ask you this. When you call huh? them, do they send you pictures of tits? Pretty transparent. Who, me? Who is this? I mean, I'm not even going to talk about it. Milwaukee Police Department? Who is this? Sure, what's going on? Um, the people from Akron, Ohio, I'm on a live stream. They've been calling my phone, harassing me and bullying me for hours. But no, my kids are fine. And we're just upstairs eating. It's my roommate's birthday. So there's nothing going on with my children. You want to talk to one of them? You can. Oh, the cops are here because Heather called them. Hang They're on. Up there. They are here. Oh, too. you, Heather, you're a fucking asshole. Oh boy. <laughs> this shit better be on fucking camera. So Heather and Chance broke up after her finding out that Chance was sending dick pics to another woman while they were in a relationship. Remember that thing I talked about earlier? Yeah, this is this is the girl. They had a pretty serious meltdown on stream and even to the point where the cops showed up. But Chance, like the alpha male he is, took it pretty well and only punched Heather's brother once in the face when he was trying to take Heather away from him. Er, did I say once in the face? I'm sorry. I, I, uh, I'm fake news. I meant three times in the face. Yeesh. Talking about the Sigma male grind set, am I right? My boy took in a few too many masterclass lessons from fucking Andrew Tate. And with that, we can go on to our next segment. Chance versus the law. Chance and the police go hand in hand, even to the point where the police know him by name. I mean, with a face like this and a 40 police track record, how can you forget the man, the myth, the legend? But that's not the worst of it all. See, Chance was caught sexting a 15 year old girl and even sent dick pics. Oh, fuck me, man. This story just gets worse and worse. He had some bullshit excuse saying that it was online so he isn't a pedophile. Chance, you should try saying you should try saying that to someone like EDP. He would love to hear that. You guys would be best. You guys would be the bestest of friends. Speaking of worst things, Chance once went to a hospital for his penis getting infected by bug bites. Yep. You heard me right. His penis suddenly expanded on stream, mind you, and was rushed to the hospital. Is it your penis? Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, mom's got to run into the hospital <laughs> real quick. Because uh, literally, like, literally swelled up like crazy. It's literally not normal. I don't know what's going on. What swell? So mom's gonna run. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. So mom's literally gonna run me down there real quick to find out what in the hell is going on. You've swelled up. <laughs> yeah, literally, like. What else? What swelled up? What? You know, I know it's kind of weird, but literally. What's that? Not normal. So mom's gonna run me down there real. Quick. Was that your penis? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, it's legitimately the penis. Oh, no. oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ew. So, I'm gonna go down there. That's your penis. And I'll claim that. Yeah, let like me know. Stay away, ladies. If you ever go for a man who looks like this, just remember that there is a 75% chance that his penis looks like a moldy Vienna sausage. I had to I had to look up the pictures of his penis. I regret it. You might be asking yourself, "Oh no, but why do you why do you look up why do you why do you look up pictures of his of his penis if you don't like it?" I had to do it so I can make jokes about it. I sacrifice my sanity for you. So you better fucking like, comment, subscribe. If you thought he couldn't get any more disgusting. Oh my god. Chance apparently doesn't bathe regularly, probably like once a week. 
If you're lucky. You soak him in the tub. <laughs> uh, well, you, you laugh at that, but that's how he bathes. Like, he only gets in the tub and he just sits there. I've done that every, like, once in a while, but I always take, like, a shower after I, I like, drain the water and then take a shower. I make you just sitting in dirty water at that point. Yeah, it probably makes it worse. And I've seen some, like, penis, new penises from him, and, like, it looks a lot worse for wear. I remember there was one time, it, it took him around maybe three weeks to have a shower, and he actually told me that himself, and I was just kind of, it's kind of mortified by that. It's a little gross. And yeah, three weeks, no shower. Three weeks. Isn't that fucking disgusting? People wonder why he itches his head all the time. Those fucking scabs. Going, yeah. Did you take a shower last night? Oh, fuck, no, I completely forgot. Well, too late now. That's okay. Right. And apparently also threatened to kill himself with a stylus that he stuck up his own ass. Why did he stuck a stylus up his own ass? Well, because he was convinced by someone to start an OnlyFans. So his right so in his right fucking mind, he thought, you know what gays like? People sticking shit up their ass. I don't know who would pay money to see this man's penis any more than once in their lives. But hey, man. Different strokes for different stupid fucking folks. The real reason why he stuck a stylus up his ass was because he rejected a job at Amazon that would have paid $15 to $18 an hour. Chance hated the idea of working at Amazon so much that he was willing to do gay porn as a straight man. I mean, at this point, Chance isn't even straight. I don't know what he is. I'm too afraid. Just to add on top of the ghost factor, he also licked the stylus. Sorry. Oh my god. This is like, this is not. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> I almost fucking threw up thinking about it. Holy shit. Like, I know this is like a character break moment, but. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. But it just doesn't end. We all know that Chance is a pedophile who texted a 15 year old, like I said. But this 15 year old was actually a pedo hunter. Yes! They fucking pulled an EDP 445 on this man and exposed him. The text between Chance and this chick was very questionable. It makes me question my life choices and think about how this man was able to get multiple girlfriends while I'm still single. But Oops, I fooled you. <laughs> there was actually another 15 year old girl that he was sexting as well. Except only this time he didn't know she was 15, but still, it's still bad in a fucking bad way. Come on. In comes Chloe, a 15 year old girl who Chance took a liking to. God, man, why can't you just like people the same age as you? Come the fuck on. Why is it always fucking 15 year olds? God! But anyways, we have reached the end of this video. If you think the story of Cyrax is over, you are sorely mistaken. Just to give you an idea of how much information is on this man, let me direct you to his Kiwi Farms thread. This thread consists of 96 pages worth of information. We only covered about 19 of them. There will definitely be a part two of this, probably a part three. But before I leave you all, I want to give a huge shout out to the thread over at Kiwi Farms. When Kiwi Farms isn't spewing some racist or homophobic shit 90% of the time, they're awesome and do pretty much half of my research for me. And also, I want to give a huge thanks to I Am Sir Zach and Classic Games Canada for their videos on chance. Go ahead and check them out. They actually helped me a fuck ton. I really fucking love their videos and it helped me a ton with the research for this video. Probably will help me in the future. And if I ever get into contact with them, I would love to have them in the next video for, for, 
fucking chance. I would love to have that. I have no idea what Cyrax is up to today. But last I heard, he was probably apparently streaming on Facebook. So at least he is contained to one internet website that I barely go to. We have just scratched the surface of this homunculus of a man. I didn't even go into his grandfather or his scabs on his head. Or the fact that fucking Wings of Redemption made fun of him. The fucking lore deepens. It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't fucking matter. It does matter. No, it doesn't. Calm down. No, I'm not going to calm down. He's That's mad. Bullshit. Watching this guy, which I don't watch a whole lot of this guy. I've like watched like three videos on him. He seems to have he seems to have the like mentality of like a like a thirteen year old boy, right? He just never matured past like his early prepubescent teen years. I understand I look like the fucking Michelin Man or like an ice cream cone or whatever the fuck you guys want to make it look like, like I look like. I understand I'm a big bulbous well, but look at that motherfucker! <laughs> you know what I'm just saying the dude looks like he's from the hills have eyes. Just imagine. Being an internet personality, and this is the angle that you go with. You have tungsten lights above you. You're standing in shadow. You can't make anything out on your face. Like, I'm saying this while I'm sitting in the that, while I'm sitting in, in reality, the dark. This meant absolutely. I, here's what you don't get, right? This guy's a musician. This is what he actually does. I'm so sick of these motherfuckers always looking at me like they want to get a motherfucking piece. Of does he really have a stick? <laughs> He's like, you don't want to be tough? Let me go get a stick, motherfucker, and swing it around like a samurai sword. Everybody always want to try to keep me Do a from kick, do a kick, homie. Your motherfucking history right over every single one of you. you he, <laughs> he forgot what he was about to say. Listen to this shit. He literally forgot, like, this was such a one-take song. You're running right over every single one. One of you, you, and then I can't. That looks like he's a buck 20. How is he out of breath for rapping a minute and 40 seconds? Like, does he like smoke cigarettes or something? Like, what kind of genetics do you gotta have that you can't talk for a minute and 40 seconds without sounding like you about to die? Like you just ran a marathon or some shit? Ah, IRS, I'm doing the same thing everybody else does. Like, the vast majority of, like, rea of, of YouTube channels are React channels. And, like, the one thing is, like, I only react to stuff on YouTube, so, like, I'm reacting to stuff on YouTube. Trust me when I say I will make another video on this man. He is essentially the Diet Dr. Pepper of Chris Chan's life. But yeah, that's it for me. This video was long and honestly tired me out with all the information on this man. It, it just kept on going and going and going, and just as I thought it was done, it just kept on getting worse and worse and worse. The information just kept on going and going and going and going and going. and going and going and going but that's it for me if you enjoyed this video please leave a like comment subscribe do all that shit that all the youtubers say thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for just putting up with all of this weird shit that i have on my channel but yeah that's gonna be it for me hopefully you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys when i see you guys a little bit till then don't be a stranger bye don't stick styluses up your ass See, Cyrex gets into a relationship more than Joe Biden stuttering to one. Yeah. See, Cyrex gets into relationships more than Joe Biden fucking stuttering through a. See, Cyrex gets into relationships more than Joe Biden str Yeah, I can't say this one sentence. I'm the one stuttering. Talk about us getting our representation, am I right? Talk about us getting our representation, am I right? Oh my god. Oh fuck. I drank, I accidentally drank like way too much. <laughs> 
that was like supposed to be a joke. I wasn't supposed to drink all of it, but I accidentally drank all of it. Holy shit. I am going to get so drunk. The fucking Lord deepens. The Lord deepens.